terrific tournament to take part in and even better to win it. Portugal do have a couple of issues worth mentioning, although this is effectively an away game for them. Three million Portuguese living in the Paris area, so the support is plentiful and passionate. And they have had 24 hours more rest time than their opponents, which going into a seventh game in less than a month is surely more of a help than a hindrance. Nanny's ready, away we go. So, it's a, an early sight of goal here for Nanny, who's had a terrific tournament as well. Earned himself a move to Valencia for next season. That's a sweep. It's not quite deep enough. So, Matuidi stepping in, Griezmann. Not an easy ball to strike on the turn. Well, I've got players surging for the moment, struggling to get up to the pace of France. Getting robbed to the ball, just like Ronaldo was there. And he stayed down, but uh, Mark Plattenberg saw nothing wrong, and France play on. And now uh, Fernando Santos is telling his players from uh, down in the technical area they can see him involved in this squad. Here's Payet, not a slip, but what a good header. That was typical of a man in form from Griezmann. But Rui Patricio in Portugal's goals having a good tournament too, and he was needed to stop that just looping. France's corner, taken by Payet. And, uh, Giroud, who started the tournament. That's a great run by Moussa Sissoko. And they can't handle it, can they? They can't. Armband's off, yeah. and he's off. Ooh. To get to this point, to a, a major final with his country. And when it happens, it only lasts a few minutes, really, until that chop. Suzuko has done well, and really Patricio well again. That's uh, turning out to be a bit of a duel here. It just got plenty. He's done well here. And that's better. He's uh, created the shooting chance for Antoine Griezmann. Not an easy one from home on. Griezmann! Well, I don't think too many people in the stadium can believe he's missed that. Well, he's run off. Get back on his feet here, and he has done. For Giroud on his strong side, another strong save from Rui Patricio. Yeah, there. There's a forward with not a very good goal scoring record. See Nani from the right. Oh, it comes out for Quaresma. Well, that could have been the final decided in a most unorthodox fashion. And uh, a real moment of quality like that from Sissoko. Gignac, he's spin here, he has done! <laughs> Doesn't catch it cleanly, but must think he's done enough. Off the heel. Maurice, who's had so little to do, but uh, the players have more work and no wonder. So, 15 minutes each way to go. Still awaiting the first goal in the final. Taken by Quaresma, now flags up. And uh, wasn't too far away, but it wouldn't have counted. Here is Quaresma. Ede! Well, France survived. Is a practitioner of the art. But it's Guerrero who takes it, hits the bar. Here comes Ede. Not got much help. Oh, he doesn't need any help. How about that? The striker who rarely scores has scored maybe the biggest goal in the history of the Portugal national team. Well, I said earlier, he would have been an unlikely hero. Can hardly walk himself. <laughs> Alan Smith, what have you made of this? Well, it's just football <laughs> for you, isn't it? Never ceases to amaze. Does get his cross in. <sighs> oh, flag's up. The flag. But it's the greatest night in Portugal's football history for Cristiano Ronaldo. From tears to cheers and more tears this time of joy. Their first major trophy against all the odds.
gods. And France, just as Portugal did themselves in 2004, fail in front of their own fans. And it's Portugal who are champions of Europe. They are maybe party poopers in Paris, but they are Portugal. And tonight they've been simply magnificent. Champions of Europe 2016.